Hello, welcome back. Day 23. We are dealing with um, selfies, literally and figuratively, and how to journal about yourself and journaling about yourself in an honest way, because it's uh, definitely for me not something that I do very often and something that I don't like doing. Um, so it's a, it's to force myself. Um, I've done a a mixed page um, because I am black and white but also grey um, I think as I age um, I've taken some Instax uh, my Instax form <laughs> has perished so I either get that or like a blurred version of myself either way I know I can just get new foam but I might as well use the ones I have um, because that is also me. Um, so something like that. It's not, not a particular technique today. More than just something for you to reflect on. Something that I did do for a challenge a while ago. I don't even know. Is I made a collage about myself. And it took, it took some time. Uh, and I added a whole lot of um, stickers. You can see the bird. Um. Some of the vintage things, all about me, um, and then this whole thing I made to pivot. So you can see different things, uh, mail, what I like. So that was also quite an interesting way to make a page. So that is also something you can do. This ties in with the... Um, smash book or glue book type of journaling where the page is really just things or actually the whole journal just smashed together or just glued so it's a it's almost like the sort of scrapbooks that we used to keep in in high school you know just bits and pieces glued together and it's a style that I really like it's quite forgiving there's no techniques there's no um, aesthetics you just glue so that's also a way for you to approach the page today. Today is also our last uh, set page for the day. I think as everyone's getting quite busy for the festive season ramping up, there'll be ad hoc pages between uh, now and the end of December. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the little bell which gives you notifications for new videos so that you don't miss the days um, between Christmas and New Year, basically. I am veering completely off uh, my colorway. I'm adding some pink uh, because I've got a burning, yearning sensation to do some pink. So, uh, Fiona, this is for you, some pink. Um, I've kintsugied myself uh, with some gold leaf and I've layered, um, like a layered cluster of photos. This is uh, glitter paste, but it came out pink on the white, but it looks a bit like a crime scene, <laughs> crime scene mop up. <laughs> I think I'm going to do some water paint that it's more of a, a flow. Um, so this is a much more modern and a much messier page. That's a vinyl sticker that I cut on my brother. Um, I'm just starting to cut vinyl. I've had the machine a year, but uh, that's quite nice. So definitely work in progress. These type of frames are very similar to the ones we did for uh, specimen cards, which was day, I don't even know, uh, day 14. So if you were do doing a journal for someone else or to gift, um, to leave a space like this for them to perhaps fill with photos would also be a good idea. Just using some all-purpose inks um, with some water just to give it a bit more of a, I mean, a, it's one of those things where maybe I'm making it worse, but if we can't play, that's another thing that I've I've not really liked doing um, so much mixed media in my journal if the page isn't removable. But I'm finding with the page that's loose, I am more uh, more prone. Or more eager to try some of the mixed media things. I'm not really a mixed media journaler, 
but I do like it. And like this glitter paste was the last of the paste that I got in. And I mean, I'm not such a glitter paste person either. But in any case, this needs to flow a bit more. Let's work. This is 100% going to fight with all the other pages in my vintage farmhouse or farmhouse Christmas journal. But um, I don't think you can journal about yourself and not show more of yourself. My background needs work. I should have done the background more before I put the photos on. But I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I like the little layer and I like the symbolism of the, the, blank, um, the blank photo, which was unintentional. Oh. Yeah, unintentional, but because of my own stinginess with regards to the Instax film. Um, and especially this time of year, uh, reflecting on what's coming next, I think this is quite a nice uh, motivation for 2021. I have prepared prompts for all of the days except the 25th, which would have been a rest day in any case. So if you are interested in what the other prompts and things would have been, uh, just leave a message and I'll, I'll let you know what the prompts are. And then look out for some, some sporadic videos between now and New Year. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for everyone commenting and taking the time to like and sharing their pages. Uh, so far, it's been a very, very interesting uh, process for me, and I've also learned a lot, and I appreciate you coming along. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.